Hey guys, I am here with Tango. She is a Havanese and she is in full coat. We're going to be keeping her in full coat. So we're going to get her right into the tub. I do not do a pre-bath brush out, so let's get busy. I am using iGrom shampoo and conditioner for her. I find that this is the best shampoo and conditioner for dogs in full coat. You're such a special baby. Yes, you are. You're a special baby. I find it's important with dogs with drop coats to shampoo the coat in the direction that the coat grows or the direction that you want the coat to grow, which on these dogs is downward. So everything gets pushed downwards, gets pushed flat. When I apply shampoo to the face, I keep the hair going in the direction that I want it to go, creating a part on top of the nose and pushing the top knot back. This helps to train the hair to go in the direction you want it to go, but it also keeps the shampoo out of the dog's eyes. And if they should shake their head, everything's pushed down and out of the way, so it helps to protect their eyes from the shampoo. I am using Vetoquinol Ear Cleansing Solution in the ears. This will help to dry out any moisture that may have gotten into the ears and it also loosens up wax and debris. I fill up each ear canal with the ear wash and allow the dog to shake it out. And I wrap the dog up in a nice warm towel and head off to the drying table. A full coated dog, I like to lay a nice thick towel out on the table. This absorbs any water coming from the underside of the dog. While blow drying, I'll be using a Zolita long pen slicker and an Artero pen brush. I will also be using a Diane pocket comb. This is really good for the face and around the eyes. While she is wet, I will trim the nails and file them. I like to do this when the dog is wet because it's easier to find the toenails and it's less likely that hair will get caught up in the nail grinding tool. She's a good girl. Yeah, she's a good girl. Oh, she's a good girl. Yes, she is. She's a good girl.
I am going to trim the pads of her feet with a 30 blade. Now I'm going to brush out all the hair around all four feet. Make sure everything's pulled out from between the toes. Good girl. Next, using a Greyhound style comb, I'm going to comb the hair out around the feet and then trim the feet round. That's a good girl, Tango. You are right. I don't scissor the feet in tight. I like big fat feet on my Havanese. While I was blow drying her, you saw me line brush her with the pen brush. And then if I ran into any knots, I used the Paw Brothers Extra Firm Pen Slicker. That works miracles on getting knots out. And then on the lower feet and the pants and around the tail, I used the Zolita brush. Next, I'm going to lightly scissor underneath the tail. Good puppy. And make sure that her feet look good from the back. Oh, she's a good puppy. Yeah, she's a good puppy. Yes, he's a good baby. Next, we're going to mist over the coat with some Igram Magic Mist. And comb through the coat line by line, making sure that there's no tangles and that the coat's all straight, no snags. You're going to do this over in every inch of the dog's body from one end to the other. When properly done, Havanese do not get trimming around the eyes, whether it is under the eyes, on the bridge of the nose, between the eyes, or the top knot. They keep a full top knot. However, many pet parents do not want to keep all that hair around the eyes and it does require maintenance. So it's important to make sure of what the pet parent wants before you decide to trim that. For maintenance purposes, it's important to go ahead and keep that hair tied up. If the dog is a show dog, then on show day you do not tie it up. But in between, you do keep it tied out of the dog size. To 
tie up Tango's hair. I will be going from about halfway in the middle of each eye from one side to the other. Starting my first line at about the corner of the eye. I want to make a nice straight line. Then mist over it with anti-static spray. Comb it back. Comb the part that I plan to put up in the band forward. At the same time, I'm making sure to part the hair on the nose and pull the hair under the eyes down. Wrapping my band around three times. Take my comb, make sure no skin was caught up in the band. My next line will be right about the front of the ear. Make another line straight across. Take my spray, mist it, comb it back, comb this up. We're going to tie the second section into the first, putting the band directly over the first band, about a half an inch up. Then we're going to put the bow right on top of that band. Now we're going to take one final section by parting the hair right over the ears and doing the final section just in front of the back of the head. Making a nice part, mist it, comb it down, comb this up, and we're going to take the section right on top of the bow and tie it all together. The multiple bands makes keeping the tied up top knot more comfortable, and it also keeps the hair pushed back so that the ponytail's not flopping forward into the dog's head. And the final step, misting over her one more time with Igra Magic Mist and combing over the coat and telling her how beautiful she is. Yes, cause she's just so beautiful. Yes, she's just so beautiful. Yes, she is. She's just the most beautiful puppy. And she's got the prettiest tail. Yes, she's got the prettiest tail. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Look at that beautiful puppy. Look at that beautiful puppy. Oh, she's just so pretty. <sighs> she's just so pretty. This was your little puppy. Hmm? Did you see that puppy over there? Did you see that puppy over there? Oh, you do. Yes, you do. She's a good puppy. She's a good puppy. All right, there's Tango, a beautiful full coat Havanese. Say goodnight, Tango. Bye.